Hey, what's up, guys? This is One Shot at Zero Kills, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing uh, 1.3, uh, Minecraft 1.3.1, I should say, uh, in terms of modding. So I'm sure you guys know uh, that with 1.3, single player is multiplayer. Let me find it down here. But yeah, single player is multiplayer. Uh, so what does this mean? Uh, well, it really changes the game and entirely. Like, it it's totally different, right? So it's easier for Mojang or Mojang, however you say it. Uh, it's easier for them to update the game now. Uh, why? Uh, because before, like previously, they had to update single player and multiplayer. So they had to update everything twice. But now they just have to update multiplayer because single player is multiplayer. So it's easier for them to update the game, right? And that's cool. And because it's easier for them to update the grant, update the game, it's also easier for them to fix bugs uh, because they only have to fix it once instead of twice. However, in terms of single player, now uh, you have a bunch of multiplayer bugs in single player. Now this is this includes, uh, but is not limited to uh, a little glitchy entity uh, movement, like where they go into walls. Uh, doors can get stuck or like uh, flipped or whatever so uh, you can't walk through them and then uh, when that happens you just need to uh, like flip the door and it'll fix itself uh, but yeah uh, bugs like that uh, those are gonna be prominent in 1.3.1 uh, because they're for multiplayer and single player is now multiplayer you can't really do anything about that you just have to deal with it and hope for a new update uh, that fixes the bug soon all right uh, so, another thing about single player becoming multiplayer is that now, uh, the requirements, uh, to play the game, like, they're increased. Um, I believe it's on Mojang's website, but yeah, uh, because you have to run the server, uh, that needs to, uh, like, simulate the world, and so does your client. So, basically, um... Although it doesn't increase the requirements by much, uh, people uh, with not so great computers uh, may be suffering. I'm assuming your frame rate may drop a little bit. Well, I'm assuming everyone's frame rate is going to drop a little bit uh, because of this new change. Alright. Uh, next thing, uh, the most important thing, uh, which is what this video is really about, is that it's much harder for modders uh, to make their mods. Now, uh, the primary reason for this is there's no more single player mods. If a modder uh, wants to make a mod for single player, he has to uh, make it as if it was for multiplayer anyway. This is because uh, there's no more single player uh, style of coding where you don't have to send packets. Now you have to send packets uh, if you want to uh, add a new entity, you have to send a packet about that and if you want to move stuff or have uh, special GUIs, you need to send packets about it. Uh, so it's much harder than it is before. Uh, it requires a lot more work. And also, uh, for people who are making uh, special, like very large uh, mods, uh, it may take them a little bit longer uh, because of something that I like to call design. Um, now, when you're creating a mod for single player, there's not much that you have to really design about it. Uh, you you base it around fighting. I mean, you base it around one player, uh, the player, I should say, fighting uh, new mobs, new mobs, uh, new entities, things like that, uh, using new items. Uh, but they're solo, right? So because there's only one character or player, it's a lot easier to design. But now, uh, since you're creating a mod for multiplayer. Uh, there's a lot more like design aspects that have to go into it. Uh, like for Legendary Beast, uh, the way I coded it currently, uh, it only works uh, uh, for single player uh, because of the fighting style. Uh, but if I want to change it to multiplayer, I'm going to have to change the fighting style a little bit so uh, the boss can take on uh, multiple enemies at a time. Otherwise, uh, it'll just be like a regular mob in Minecraft uh, where they just battle one enemy even though... Uh, uh, even though other players are hitting it, uh, which you don't really want for like a boss in Legendary Beast, but that's besides the point. Uh, so yeah, it's much more work for uh, modders. And then the next thing that sort of sucks is that 1.4 is supposedly uh, the API Minecraft API release. So what does this mean? Um, 
it really means that you have you update your mods uh, for 1.3 and then a, like a month or two later you have to like redo your entire mod all over again for 1.4 with the API now uh, this I mean it depends when 1.4 is coming out uh, but it may you know uh, make some modders think twice about updating their mods for 1.3 uh, some may just choose to update it for 1.4 and that's it alright so because of this uh, some modders you know might not choose to update to 1.3 whether it be too much work uh, they're not they're too busy or they're just waiting for 1.4 so now uh, that less people are updating uh, for 1.3 uh, maybe that means some mod some mods uh, may become more popular uh, it's possible I'm not sure uh, but I'm assuming if there's less mods out there uh, the ones that are there are gonna be a lot more popular however uh, some of you guys are panicking about like oh my god 1.3 was released today uh, there was a pre-release what was it like seven days ago and there's like no mods for 1.3 uh, do not be alarmed this is simply uh, because uh, the major APIs uh, that mods use uh, whether it be mod loader forge or uh, other uh, third-party APIs or whatever they haven't updated yet this is mainly because uh, the official version of the Minecraft coder pack was just released today uh, like I believe it was probably like eight hours ago from when I'm making this 527 on August 1st so yeah then they have to they have to download MCP and then they have to uh, fix their mod now Updating an API really isn't easy, especially with all the changes in 1.3. So, in my personal opinion, um, it may take them a while to update it. I'm assuming that Mod Loader and Forge uh, most likely uh, will be updated within like two weeks. Uh, that's a very, very wide range, like a very wide, a very wide estimate. But you know, uh, it's 1.3. There's not really much you can do. It's going to be 